pumpkin picking, guys. Certainly perfect weekend to do that. We got plenty of sunshine out there. Temperatures in the upper 60s. We were slightly above average Newark. 70. I mean, normally this time of year, again, we should be topping out at around 65. So clearly, we're a little bit above that. Surely, though, we're right on target, 65 degrees there as well. Tonight, temperatures bottoming out into the 40s. There will be some radiational cooling. We got that clear sky out there. Winds will stay nice and light throughout. And then as we head into Islip, eastern end of Long Island, you'll notice that temperatures will be a little bit above, more like the upper 40s, generally speaking, especially the Pine Barrens, it's tend to fall into like 30s this time of year. Uh, taking a look now, high pressure again in control, widening th things out a little bit. There's that departed system that brought in all that rain. Now we got that high in control. We got a couple areas of low pressures that we're talking about. This first one, it's going to be quite interesting. It looks like it kind of stalls out a bit. We're checking out the timing with the system. This could eventually lead to some showers on Monday. This one I'm really concerned about. Not only will it bring a few flakes, interior sections of New York, by the way, not within the city, but it's going to allow for those winds to really pick up, really fire up. So right now it looks like it's not packing a lot of moisture, this first frontal boundary, but it's still early. I anticipate some showers, some heavy downpours in spots. And speaking of downpours, Boy, we're getting it there uh, across uh, this area right here, this peninsula. Compatch, I can never pronounce it, but uh, it looks like Mexico. This thing right here is going to head further south. Carl is definitely packing a punch. Maximum sustained winds at 40 miles per hour. So it's not a massive storm, so, so to speak, but it will do some damage in terms of mudslides and whatnot. This area of low pressure, we're tracking at 10 percent chance of development within the next five days. Now we're on the downside of things, but we hit a little bit of a peak this time. So the tropics are still heating up out there. Hence Carl, hence that area of low pressure that we're tracking. There's a look at your seven days.